in the early morning all right so it's been a few weeks since i've last done a vlog and while pretty much in that time i've just been working on everything trying to get it running to the best of its ability so we could actually get the farm up and running again and well it's time to do some hang this week but before we do that here i gotta jump in the truck head down to the fields there check them real quick once we get back we'll get to hang here but if you guys enjoyed today's video, give that like button a little tap. It helps me out a ton, and it helps the video out a ton, and I really appreciate it. All right, so this is our soybean field here right now. Probably got to spray this. That means I got to go get the sprayer up and running, but not looking too bad. And then, as well, we got to go check the barley field. All right, we just checked out the barley field there. That looks good. So now that that's done here, we're going to head back to the farm and get some work done. And we'll just pull up right here for now. Okay, so got the swather up and running here, so we're probably going to use that today. It's really nice, really warm weather, so I'm hoping we can get the hay done this week. We don't have actually too much hay. We'll probably actually get most of it cut today, if anything. So it should be a good day. All right, we'll drop this down here. Fire it up. Off we go. Tested this thing out last week here. Got it all running good. Had to replace a few bearings, but other than that, runs like a dream. Also, sometime this week here... My brother is supposed to be showing up here and he's going to come help do some haying here because I could probably use an extra hand doing that. So he's probably going to come out, run the rake or the baler. We'll see. He's supposed to be getting out here tomorrow. But we have literally the perfect conditions for haying here. It's super warm. Well, not too warm, but have a little bit of a breeze. Going to dry out the hay real nice and no rain in the forecast, which is all I can ask for, really. So since this was ready to cut so early in the year... I'm thinking we might actually be able to get a second cut of this. We'll see. But hey, that'd be awesome if we could. That would actually mean we could get a bit of a stockpile of hay. That or we could even sell some if we need to. All right, so we're just about finished this field here. I just got a call saying that the spray that we need to get the soybean and the barley field done is ready to go. So we got to go pick that up in a little bit after we probably finish this field here. Then we'll come back and see how much more haying we can get done. I doubt that we're going to get to spraying today. But I do imagine we're going to get to it tomorrow. And there we go. I'm going to kill that done. So what we have left back here is this chunk. Now, unfortunately, that's all the hay ground we have here. But I still think that's plenty enough. Especially if we're going to get uh, two cuts out of that. But now I got to go pick up that spray. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right. So I just picked up the spray. Well, herbicide, I should say. But as I was driving in here, I saw something that caught my interest. Let's jump out here and take a look at it real quick. So it's for sale. It's a little three-wheeler. Trike, whatever you want to call it. And this thing's cool. Looks in pretty good condition, too. I'm guessing one of the people from the co-op is selling it. Huh. That might be another cool little purchase for the farm. I mean, I don't really need it, but at the same time, I mean, hey, it's kind of cool. So I don't know. Let me know in the comments section whether I should go buy that. I mean, I'm sure it's only a few hundred bucks, so it'd be really cool to have around the farm. But anyway, we got the herbicide here, so I'm going to head back to the farm. I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, we are back. I'm just going to park this right here. There we go. Okay, so in order to apply that herbicide to the field, we have got to pull this old hunk of junk out of the uh, out of the back here. Man, this is going to be it's going to be interesting. Probably going to re need to replace like every line on it, but I already bought that. I already bought all the parts I'm going to need. I looked at everything here. You know what? I'm going to go... Uh, grab the 4240 here and uh, we're gonna see if we can get that thing out all right we'll just back up here there we go well i think this thing's seen better days but i'm gonna unfold it here probably give it a wash with the pressure washer here see if i can make it look a little bit a little bit better you know it's uh <laughs> it's not looking too great so i'll check the tank for leaks here if it doesn't leak get it all washed out clean it out replace all the lines on this because these are old rubber lines and they are completely shot probably replace all the nozzles on here i got everything that actually looks exactly like this got the blue line got the green nozzles it'll all look pretty much the same the tires i think they'll still work probably put some air in them who knows might have to replace those eventually probably next year though other than that everything else should work the hydraulic line still works so that's good so i'll replace all the kind of lines over here and we'll see what we can do but before that time to give this thing a wash well um all i can say is i don't think the wash did much for it here but you know what? I probably shouldn't be worried about that right now. I'll replace the lines and the nozzles later. For now, we got to go do some mowing. All right, the old beast up again. Here we go. So there's not too much worth mowing back here, but there's enough to uh, do it. Since we have limited hay ground, may as well just do it. So I was talking to uh, Grandpa, the guy that used to run this farm until he couldn't, how he used to store the hay bales in the winter. And he said he used to just throw a tarp over them, just kind of leave them be. But sometimes the tarp would get blown off because, well, the winter's here. 
they can get bad usually they're not but they can get bad so what we're probably gonna do is we're gonna build a little hay shed this fall that's the plan at least also that part over there is my lawn i really don't want to mow it with the swather here so probably gotta get the mower out this week at some point too all right so we got this side done time to go to the other side but it looks like we're gonna be done cutting this before lunchtime here so if we let this sit the rest of the day if it keeps up like this by tomorrow we should be able to break this all up here all right so we're on the last pass here i'm thinking maybe this winter here we could start to look for some more hay ground to rent because you know this is great and all but we have the equipment so it might just be the move to do that all right so i am gonna just put this back here for now and then we'll put it in the shed later but for now i've got to go see if i can get the sprayer working again get it all flushed out here and hopefully we can have everything running by the end of today that's the hope so i'll see you guys in a little bit all right so it's the afternoon now and uh well a lot has happened so got the sprayer all done it's all working it's ready to go then i also took out the international here got it hooked up to the rake for tomorrow the hay is drying out nicely so that's good but we gotta go get some spraying done so i'm gonna hop in here we're gonna take this over to the spray tank or the herbicide tank whatever you want to call it get this filled up here and uh, we will be on our way all right sprayer is full here we got all the lines replaced in it and all the nozzles so there was no leaks in the tank luckily for us so i guess we'll see how this goes also been working on the cattle pasture the last few weeks here getting the waterers working getting all the fence fixed back here all the fence is good now so don't got to worry about that oh except for the gate i still got to build one gate that's all i got to do but we'll get the sprayer unfolded here there we go turn it on okay good looks like everything's working Whew. okay <laughs> that's uh that's a relief oh looks like we're gonna get a good productive day of work in after this we got to go do the barley field but that will take literally no time at all two passes with this thing also tomorrow i'd like to get all the raking done which probably be able to do that but i would like to test out the baler as well maybe make a baler too just to make sure it's working well who knows i might do some custom work this uh this fall or something because i don't know it would be uh, be nice to do that make a bit of extra money who knows oh boy it's a little muddy through here must just be that low spot back there but my brother should be out tomorrow night there so he gets to help me with all the bailing and some projects on the farm i'd like to get done but actually one thing i forgot to mention here is after hangs done around that time there is a cattle auction coming up livestock auction so the plan is to go there and hopefully we can get that uh that cattle pasture out there and uh maybe have a few cattle in it for the first time in many years also, by the way, totally got to upgrade the sprayer at some point, maybe next year. But for this year, it'll work because this thing looks like the frame is about to just crack under it. Actually, I had to even weld the frame on this just so it could work for today because the frame was cracked on it. So I'm hoping that weld, uh, I, I welded that good enough so it doesn't break. But I'm going to continue spraying this. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right. So we're just heading back from the barley field here. Got that done. All sprayed. Had to go back, get some spray, but also got the bean field done so that's good and then i think the uh herbicide tank there is pretty much empty there i think there's like the smallest little bit in there but i have a little jug or a few jugs there that i can just put the rest into and then i gotta take that herbicide tank back to the co-op there because it give me a little bit of a rebate if i do so we gotta get that back before the co-op closes but technically for now this sprayer is done for the year unless we decide to do something else with it but it's gonna get parked right back here for now but let me check what time it is oh shoot okay we're gonna run a little late here if we don't uh take that herbicide tank back right now i was gonna fuel that up with diesel but that can wait we gotta take this back well we got it back just in time luckily for us now uh, that honda's still sitting there i want it who knows we might buy it anyway i'll see you guys back all right we're back time to uh fill the old john deere up with a little bit of diesel and then i got a few things around the shop to do tonight getting everything good to go probably gotta hook that tractor up to the baler actually make sure the baler is good to go for tomorrow but anyway i'm gonna go in and eat some supper so i'll see y'all tomorrow all right good morning guys last night i got uh everything pretty much good to go here i still want to test the baler out today after we get the raking done but did some work on the shop here put some stuff away still got quite a bit to do but gonna go out here check this i check some of the middle rows here see if this is ready to rake all right i think we're good to go so luckily my brother's gonna be here before we thought he was so we're gonna have him test out the baler all right here we go break is working good that's what i like to see well something's working good this morning good way to start off the day so in the afternoon once this is ready to go probably not for 
fully bailing, but we're going to test out the bailer. I've got to go do a few things in town. I got to take a trip to town, grab some parts and stuff. And I won't be around, but luckily my brother is a mechanic. So he took a week off to come out and help me get the farm straightened out because we still got a lot of work to do. So he's going to test out the bailer for me, make sure it's all running good because he knows a heck of a lot more about that stuff than I do. So I'm going to go in and get some parts in town, but I imagine we're just going to try it out over here because this is kind of the best place. Now, luckily for us, at least like 90% of our fields here. Oh, flipped on the lights by accident. At least 90% of our fields here pretty much are in full sunlight. Now, I know it doesn't look like it right now because it's well still pretty early in the morning, but that does mean that our fields dry out super, super fast, which is awesome. That means we get everything done just a bit faster. But now that that field's done there, time to go on to this one. Good old international. Haven't used this one actually much yet, but I'm going to continue raking this. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right. And we are done. So my neighbor just called me a few minutes ago asking if he could borrow my skid steer. So he's going to come pick that up here in a little bit. I'm going to go do some more work on the baler. And then in a little bit, I have to go in and pick on some parts, but Hopefully, my brother can actually get this thing working and running good again. All right, so my brother should be here in a little bit, but I'm headed out. I got to go get some parts for the farm here, so should be back in a little bit probably this afternoon. I'll see you guys later. All right, so we're just headed back from town here. I've been in town for a few hours. My brother got here about an hour or so ago. He got the baler up and going, and, uh, well, he said there's a bit of an issue. We're not with the baler, the tractor, and I, I think I can kind of see it over there. Said he's in the house making supper right now so we're gonna go uh over there and take a look oh man he's got his big lifted diesel oh man what a show off he left his lights on though oh boy well that's a bit of an issue oh yikes okay let's 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 go take a look at this oh oh, oh, oh boy okay I, I guess that happens um <laughs> I don't, even, I don't even know what to do about this. Well, good thing uh, good thing we have a mechanic here. Well, shoot. Well, at least we know the baler works, I, I hope. <laughs> and we kind of got to wait for this to dry out fully anyway. This was just a quick little test run to make sure the baler was good to go because we're obviously going to have to wait till this fully dries out. So we're only going to make like one. But oh, well, I guess that gives us time to uh, fix this here. There's not a whole lot else we got to do on the farm right now other than clean it up, which was the plan for this week. But anyway, guys, that's going to be on the episode for today. If you did enjoy, smash that like button. Also, if you're new, consider subscribing. Hope y'all enjoyed. And I'll see you. I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio, playing old Hank. It ain't that long. Tell them back at the 